Who? What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the big time show over here. We're talking record number viewership in the last premium live event for this series. Uh, it's unbelievable that I'm still doing things like that at that level uh, all the way through. Uh, and it's been nine seasons, and we're now in the final bracket, the ending block of season nine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is The Undercard, season nine, episode 13, Beneficiary. And that may seem like a strange word, but it means a person that either gains an advantage or earns an advantage, maybe unfair or otherwise, but that's what today is all about. We've got three number one contender matches that will shape the future of the undercard and this season forever. And uh, we're going towards Rage in the Cage 4. I'm very excited about that. Next week in all cage match premium live event you're not going to want to miss it we are live let's take a look at the card so we have mojo rally against lance archer it's the season of giants and monsters and there's some big boys that need to be going at it then we've got heidenreich versus Geralt of Rivia. Then, a number one contender match for the Tag Team Championship. It is Two Live Crew and Willie and Rich. These two teams have faced each other before, but they are evenly ranked, and they need to wrestle each other to earn that title shot next week inside the steel cage. It's going to be a banger, and this one could go into overtime as we are getting there man when i were scratching that final itch uh, reaching the back end so it is ivory versus harley quinn then we've got abyss versus dolph ziggler following that is the number one contender for the women's championship it's scarlet witch versus abaddon scarlet witch has been in this position pretty much all season long and just cannot defeat Awesome Kong because nobody can defeat Awesome Kong. But one of these two women will face Awesome Kong in the steel cage next week. So we need to find out which one it is. Abaddon's been on an absolute tear lately. Very exciting matchup there. And then, of course, in our main event, it is number one contender for the undercard championship. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Braun Strowman. And we now know who might be the winner of Season 9 based on the, these matchups. So just stay tuned to see some action. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Season 9 is now brought to you by Monster Games. It's the season of Monsters and Giants, and now with 100% whey protein, Monster Games is here. Fire Promoter does this thing after you play for a year, it it gives you sponsorships around the ring. I, I find it funny that it's literally called Monster Games. It's the season of Monsters and Giants. And I think the other one on the apron is Jumbo Mart. Anyway, uh, to kick off the show today, there's a scoop slam by Mojo Rowley, former football player, best friends with Rob Gronkowski from the New England Patriots. And... Uh, Doing pretty well here to kick off the show against Lance Archer. A giant, the murder hawk monster. Lance Archer has been in that number one contender spot for quite a while, but he got taken down a peg after going against Bam Bam and getting dropped on his head. And then he had to, you know, wrestle Braun Strowman and Luke Cage and just these super powerhouses. And now he's got to deal with Mojo Rowley who goes 100 miles per hour all the time. Big time suplex counter there. Nice counter by Lance Arthur. And Lance looking good. There's a gut wrench by Mojo. Those gut wrench suplexes over and over, repeatedly pounding your body against the canvas. No give, only monster gain. <laughs> Sponsor me, for real. Oh... And again, that suplex getting countered. 
Lance Archer just maybe too strong for that. Big boy, big knee, right to the gut. We're kicking off this week in the right way, as we do every Monday here yeah. in the undercard. Another suplex. That time it did connect for Mojo. And now, at this point in the season, you pretty much know you're not going to become the champion, but you can at least end with a positive record, and that would look good for you. And th there's honor in that, absolutely, because I know uh, this this show and most wrestling is always about the title and you know who the champion is at the moment but performing really well in the undercard is is a hard thing to do since not everybody can do so and there was a strike exchange between the two mojo got the better of lance on that one attempting the suplex and failing again another counter by lance just not that suplex is just not working for him right now picks him up by the head they're gonna lock up double leg Straight forward, single leg, Boston Crab there, applied by Mojo Rowley. Gonna start things slow, but this, this one could kick into uh, overdrive here. Another gear in store. We know that Lance can go quickly, and of course Mojo always likes that high speed, high intensity. Got suplex out of the ring there. Almost seven minutes into our first match today. Chop to the face. And we've still got at least one competitor, uh, Alexa Bliss, who has yet to win a single match. And there's Iron Claw Slam! Signature move by Lance Archer, keeping him down on the mat. Mick Foley going for the two count, but just barely getting the shoulder out of that. And there's the press slam. Knocking him down a peg, stomping on him, chopping on him, doing anything he can to get an edge over Lance Archer, but got caught by the clothesline, punches him in the gut, and now this is what we're talking about. Blackout! Oh, it's over. One, two, and just a classic Fire Pro 2.9 out of the finisher. Oh, turns him over, drops him down. Mojo just throwing some punches, doing anything he can to avoid this right here again. The blackout. Lance Archer with that devastating finisher. So much strength to pull it off, but no. 2.9 again. And Mojo can't have too much left after being hit by those. Those big moves. The guillotine almost out of desperation. Just trying to choke the life out of Lance, but... Back to their feet they go, center of the ring, oh, headed towards the corner, maybe. Over. That's not where you want to be, blackout! Third one. That's got to do it. One, one two. two, no! Well, Mojo still got some juice left in his veins. He's still got some steroids left in him. Ten minutes, and he's already been hit by the blackout three times. And now a discus punch combo and go into the corner. Big time elbow coming! Oh, there it is, the running elbow. Mojo with the hype. One, two, and barely kicking out of that was Lance Archer and ran right into the guillotine. Standing choke submission. Draining the life out of Lance Archer. Suplex, will it work? Wait, no, hyperdrive! Hyperdrive! I thought he was going for the suplex, but he hit. He transitioned it into his finisher. Both men were down. Mojo could not recover, and now he's getting kicked in the corner. And where the hell is Lance Archer going? What the? Oh! Giants can fly here in Season 9. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Undercard, Season 9, Episode 13, Beneficiary. And who will benefit from a big win here? Big boot. Will it be Lance Archer, the Murderhawk Monster? Or the Hype Bro? Mojo Rally. I one time got kicked out of a frat house and it was probably his oh, fault. Yeah. Oh my god, hyperdrive. But can he recover? Can he capitalize? No, he couldn't get the cover. Oh, Iron Claw Slam, everybody dies. One, Referee two, trying to three. 
put an end to this one. Thank you. Lance was looking good. And that's a good way to start the show. Don't forget to save your game, underdog. We gotta save after every match now. Just in case anything crazy happens. We've been going well without technical hiccups here in Fire Pro, so I'd like to keep it that way. Knock on wood. Next up, we've got Heidenreich versus Geralt of Rivia. It's kind of the bottom of the rankings, and what's interesting is Geralt actually had, like, two main events in Season 9, and now he's down here at the bottom. But uh, the season's not over yet, and we still got wrestling to do, so... This is a match that needs to happen. Fight. How are we going to start? Just a chop in the face snapmare. Heidenreich with the wrestling experience. And I think Geralt's got to be getting more comfortable. I mean, it's episode 13. We're in the, the final stretch of this season. And knowing that uh, Geralt didn't win every match is okay with me and uh, he definitely brought a different uh, set of skills than we usually see from video game characters or wrestlers there was the blocked copo kick off the ropes and a blocked shoulder just running into the massive torso of Heidenreich is not going to give you any leeway. Working on the shoulder there is what we were talking about. The technical uh, submission skills of Geralt. He likes to tear apart his opponents piece by piece. He finds their weakness and seeks it out. And uh, I think maybe too strategic for his own good. And uh, when it comes into actually getting into these matches and getting the action underway, he kind of falls short. Because you can read about it in a book, but doing it here is different than a piece of paper. And uh, somebody's b busted open already. It might be Geralt. Geralt might might have got uh, scratched oh. over the eye, and it's just now bleeding. But I, I don't think it's a minor injury. Uh, got knocked down there by Heidenreich. Throw him into the ropes, going for the low kick, and a uh, gut wrench. Tosses him over. Heidenreich has so much power. It's just a big, towering monster, and uh, of course, this is brought to you by Monster Games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we got buttons to push, and noises to hear. One count, the leg was hooked, and the match continues as the blood drips down the face of Geralt of Rivia. Nice scoop slam. The Gooseberry Scoop Slam, if you will, off the ropes, and they're going to collide, but Heidenreich got the better of them there with the Lariat, followed it up with an elbow. Now back to their feet, chop to the chest, going for that spinning back fist, and grabs the leg. Nice dragon screw leg whip. Geralt again trying to uh, pick, a, pick a limb and break it. Select the joint and disconnect it. Chop him down, and now working on the yeah. arm. Just pulled his hair to get out of that one. It wasn't pretty, but it got him out of the submission. And now Heidenreich trying to Ooh. just do anything he can to knock down Geralt. The headbutt, that'll work. Sure, why not? You ain't getting nothing fancy. There's no strategy behind anything that Heidenreich is doing. It's just power. Just simply because he can. Feel the power. Joke slam, and he goes... Sits down with it. That signature powerful choke slam and only a two count as Geralt gets out of that. Again, elbow to the shoulder. Heidenreich down. Shaking up a bit. Off the ropes counter. Juji Katami rolling armbar by Geralt. Someone might have to ask a Jin for a favor. Because Heidenreich is not going to 
enjoy being uh, locked into any more of those submissions. Spins around his opponent and runs right into a DDT, almost the center of the ring. Heidenreich actually recovered first out of that. Ugh, just shows how much punishment he can actually take. And a knee to the arm. And runs into that signature. One, two, kick out by Geralt. Upside down, drops him down. Neck breaker. Heidenreich would do well if he focused on the head as Geralt is still bleeding in this match. Still not sure how he got cut open, but it doesn't matter now. Fish drop. Kicks to the midsection, scoops him again. That's a big man to be scooping and slamming and ties him up. Hog tie one, two, and uh, Geralt obviously knows how to tie up a monster and deal with him, but Heidenreich somehow got out of that one, hit him with the Dominator. And now picking him up from behind, Geralt was groggy, but got out of there with an arm whip, goes up top, looking for a diving frog splash, but it did not connect, he missed. And now Heidenreich has the opportunity to punish Geralt again by slamming him, but a reversal. That was a really important moment there for Geralt. Uh oh, pump handle, pump and dump, and this one might be over. One, two, and Heidenreich's excited about it, and it is. That move has been so effective for Heidenreich this season. That pump handle power slam just took Geralt down a notch. I'm going to have to check the record books because I feel like Geralt might be actually at the bottom with uh, Ultraman. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting result is what I'll say to that. Next up, we have number one contender for the Tag Team Championship match. And I think we were in a situation in Season 9 here where we had like three tag teams that were tied in the records. They were There was th literally three teams that were evenly matched. Uh, and then we had a championship. And there's new champions. Obviously, Grundy and Bane are the new champions. So now, what's going to happen is 2 Live Crew is going to face off against Willie and Rich. And whatever team goes against Bane and Grundy in the Steel Cage next week. This is a big tag match. A lot on the line. This is cool. Thank you. Yes, it is. It's completely simulated wrestling action here on the undercard. Fight. This is the Undercard Season 9, Episode 13, Beneficiary. And obviously one of these teams has an opportunity to earn a huge title shot. You missed what sale? You have to be more specific. Sale for what? A DLC? Fire Pro? I'm assuming you're talking about either the game or a DLC. Goes to the groin. Low blow. Ding dong. Uh, Fire Pro's on sale, or it was. I think I knew that and then forgot it. So, sorry if I wasn't mentioning it for the past couple weeks. I probably forgot because I own the game, so I don't really think about it. There was a tag to Rich Swan and uh, Road Dog. Stuck in the corner right now. Former tag team champion Road Dog and his partner R Truth making up two live crew. They ain't goofing around anymore. This is serious, serious, real business right here. Spinning around airplane spin. Rich Swan slams him down. Up against the ropes. Oh, helicopter! Helicopter, helicopter. That made me dizzy. And Rich Swan's been spinning his opponents around, and it's been working out for him. Tag to R-Truth. They were going to double team on Rich Swan, but he escaped quickly. A tag to his partner. Willie Mack, Destino. Oh, wait a minute. No. Whoa, back flipping out of everything is everybody. Everybody's flipping out of everything. And if you're watching on Twitch, 
there possibly could be an ad break. Oh, Exploder. But uh, this will be featured, of course, posted later on the YouTube. There's an entire playlist of the whole series. You can watch, you can go back and watch season one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and even most of nine. What if I told you there's been nine seasons of this show? That's still absurd to me. And it's not over just yet. Another airplane spin for our truth. He's going on a ride, and I hope he did pay for those tickets because he might be getting sent back to the airport. Oh, jumping leg drop. Chases him. Back into his own corner, and uh, Rich Swan does not want to be on that side of the ring. I'll tell you what, not in a tag match with so much on the line. Off the ropes, awkward collision between the two. Tag to our, uh, tag to his partner, Road Dog. Our Truth trying to get out of the match, and uh, Fist Drop. They're still fighting against each other. He already tagged him out. There we go, Road Dog, the legal man, now in action. On the shoulders. Guess what? Give up. This is the worst flight since Boeing. I don't know. Insert airplane joke here. Tag. Willie Mack, the legal man. The chocolate attack coming. Oh! Flying knee collides right to the face of a former champion that wants to be a soon champion. But even, even so, the winner of this match has to face Bane and Grundy at Rage in the Cage 4 next week. And there's a stiff kick right to the ass. Willie Mack going back to his corner. Tags himself out. And Road Dog knocking down both members of the opposition. They're just throwing some punches and kicks. And this is uh, turning into more of a brawl, more of a fight as these teams have faced each other before. They know each other so well. They've all been in this position multiple times. And just the dominance of A-Train and Nathan Jones really shook up this season for the undercard. And what the yeah, hell is yeah. going on? Oh, 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 oh. Saito suplex on the apron. Good God, Road Dog might be dead. But somehow he recovered instantly. Okay. <laughs> all right, whatever. Caught the kick. Spun him down. Our truth saying what's up, and Rich Swan saying another spin Give cycle. Give up. Spam it if you have to. I mean, if it's working, keep doing it. But also, if you keep going to the wheelhouse too many times, you're gonna get countered, and it's not gonna work out. Going for a pin attempt. One. Will Road Dog interfere? No, he didn't need to. Only a one count there. Our truth. Not sure what he wants to do. As usual, tag to his partner, and now. Yeah. Backbreaker there, and a gourd buster there, and an elbow, and here comes Road Dog. Oh, daddy. Oh, you didn't know. Down, 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 down. Your ass better call somebody. And he's stuck over there in the corner. STO takedown, tag to Rich Swan. Willie Mack with the moonsault. That's a big boy landing on you, and. Rich Swan using his whole body as a weapon. Got caught by another one of those jabs. Road Dog with the dangerous snap jabs can hit you real quick out of nowhere. Going for a couple more. Hurricanrana in the center of the ring. 450. One, two. Woo, the dogs are out tonight. But Road Dog's still in this one. As it got saved by R Truth, slips out of that. Counter elbow. Eye poke. Got him stunned, uh, Hurricanrana, Rich Swan getting himself out of danger. And now trying to just drag Road Dog away from that corner, maybe trying to stop him from making a tag to R-Truth, who would be fresh right now. Standing 450, attempt to win the match. Number one contender. Winner faces the champions next week in a huge premium live event, the return of Rage in the Cage, and I'm excited about it. Look at these European uppercuts catching the side of the chin. Road Dog knocked down. Standing 450, the finisher, one, two, and oh, just barely at the last second gets the shoulder up. There's gonna be an ad break. I don't, I don't think I could skip this one. 
This is a really important match, and uh, usually these tag matches go a long time, so this one's probably not even halfway over. But anything can and will happen in the world of wrestling, especially here on this show. The number one viewed E-Fed on the internet! That's a statistic I can actually say because it's true. Stolen finisher! Oh! The Oscar Street Cutter! And then an Exploder! That was sick! And we know Willie Mack can do unbelievable feats of athleticism. We've never seen him steal a move like that, STO Takedown. Our truth is in a world of hurt. Stunner! Stone Cold Stunner by Willie Mack! And he's in excellent form, he knows that this will be his last opportunity at a title shot here in season nine. I think that goes for both teams. Oh, double kick to the head. Taking down Rich Swan. DT. He was gonna go for the shaky knee, but changed his mind. Put him in a small package. That's a long way to cross the ring to break up a pinfall because that's the pump handle and he's going to go for a cover here. <gasps> Willie Mack has to get there. One, two, and he does. R-Truth just didn't get there to block him in time, but that was a good attempt to end the match. Somebody got hit hard and this match will continue until we have a three count, a submission, or a critical finish and there's a big left hand to the face rich swan going back to his corner willie mack has been the savior of this match right now I, or I, at least the superstar of the match looking really really good we've waited all season long to see willie mack and what he can do but he just got caught by the finisher pump handle drop by Road Dog, the R O D double G, whatever. I don't know how to spell his name. He'll tell you how it's done. Tag to R Truth. What's up? Are you ready? Another pump handle. Are you ready? I don't think you are. Hold him there while I punch him. <laughs> Little Jimmy! R-Truth with the finish. One, we might two. have our new contenders. No! <laughs> Willie Mack kicks out of the finish. Rick Swan just knocked down Road Dog, And it's their time now. One, One two. two. He couldn't get there. R-Truth with a huge Whoa. kick out. 20 two, minutes two, into this two. match. That was Whoa. a close call on both sides. Now R-Truth. Little Jimmy catches him again. Rich Swan's got to get back over there. But wait, no. He couldn't capitalize. Uh, they're both just so exhausted. I, I think R-Truth hit his finisher and just couldn't follow up. The longer these matches go, the harder it is to keep wrestling. But you got to use your heart. You got to try your best. You got to do anything you can here. This is nonstop wrestling action all the way through. Weekly. One, two, three. Well, we have our answer. It will be Rich Swan and Willie Mack with one final opportunity next week to become champions. Now we've got two more questions to ask. Who will be women's number one contender and who will be undercard number one contender and we will find out on this show right here today but don't go anywhere because we still have a few more matches to go it's ivory versus harley quinn yeah that's right mr j i can't i can't do the voice today i'm sorry for even attempting i apologize for that <laughs> i apologize for that Fight. We've got a Hall of Famer 
versus an Oscar winner. It is Ivory versus Harley Quinn. And we know Ivory would love to censor everything that Harley does and says right here in this matchup. Harley's been such a troublemaker uh, in and out of the ring, I would say. And there's a scoop slam. That's Wrestling 101. And Harley's been using a lot more weapons. She's become a lot more unhinged as the season has progressed. Uh, but she's also gotten some more wins. And uh, I just want to quickly up. check on the records here. She should be ooh, two and three. And Ivory is two and three, so that's why this match is happening, because they're evenly ranked and just kicks her down low. And then slams her head into the canvas. Ivory, straightforward, very strict, like a school teacher in the suit and tie, trying to uh, censor that, but she just got hit in the head with that steel chair. Steel chair still in play and got hip tossed right on it and cartwheeled into the face with the drop kick. Harley Quinn with that move that she's become synonymous with. The cartwheel drop kick. Now Ivory getting slammed again. Off the ropes. Wait. Nope. Back to their feet. Okay. Her Karana. Center of the ring. Slams her down again. Just trying to stop the speed of Harley. She might know how to go fast since the, I guess the Suicide Squad defeated the Flash in that video game. I'm sorry. I keep making references to it because it's so horrible. <laughs> I need to remind people that that game came out this year, like not that long ago, and it's, it's already dead. Oh, handspring elbow. And this is what we saw previously from Ivory. She she spammed this move. And now, wait a minute. Oh, just a couple elbows. And she's going up high. And oh, ho, ho, ho. Harlem Heat style flipping leg drop. One, two. And Harley had to kick out. There was no other choice. You kick out or you lose. And there's a jumping axe kick to the back of the head. Ivory. Showing off some skills. She's got some speed. She's got some power. I would say Ivory is a really well-rounded Hall of Famer. And uh, definitely earned that Hall of Fame with a very famous WrestleMania match with China. Oh, and a drop toe hold onto another steel chair. Not sure where she got that one from, but there's still one in the ring. Hip toss. Drop kick. Harley grabbing the weapon, swinging away, didn't connect, but she got the slap off. Slap the face right off of you. Elbow. She's humming. She's crazy. Harley Quinn is constantly living in a lucid dream, but this might be a nightmare because she just got powerbombed. And then again, with this twisting ankle lock. Uh, the, going after the leg, the knee, the ankle, anything she can twist, she'll tear you apart. And a uh, pin attempt here, but the rope break was there. Good call by our referee, Mick Foley. Oh, backdrop. And now a taunt from Ivory. Trying to build up that special. Trying to get the crowd behind her, but I don't think the crowd likes Ivory at all, and I don't blame them. Harley Quinn needs to shut her up right here. Jumping neck breaker. And now a series of strikes. Anything goes. They can play as dirty as they want. And the dirtier it gets, the more Harley sees it as actual playtime. She's just out here having fun. Oh, whipped into the corner. Here comes the signature backspring elbow. And will we see two in a row? Move out of the way, you idiot! Oh no, a third one! Will we get the fourth? Harley is stuck in an infinite loop of elbows and just got thrown onto the apron and wait a minute. Oh, punched back in. 
And more punches Give this up. time. Give up. From Mr. J's favorite girl, Harley Quinn from the DC Universe. Oh, breaking the eyes and punching her in the, uh, well, whatever she's got down there. Ovaries? <laughs> I know my anatomy. Mission Elko Driver, one, two, two. Oh, she got her. Well, Harley Quinn has been censored. And Ivory steps up one more rank. But it literally doesn't matter in the women's division. Because no matter what happens today and next week, uh, Awesome Kong is confirmed to be in the finale with a title shot one way or the other. She'll either be undefeated and defending her title, or she will get defeated and getting an automatic title shot because her, her ranking is absurd. So <laughs> we'll talk about that more uh, later on. But right now... We have to go back to the main division of the show, the undercard division. It's Abyss versus Dolph Ziggler. Fight. And the referee says, fight. This actually may be a fight for Dolph Ziggler. He is outmanned. Neckbreaker. He is overpowered, outsized, outmatched in almost every way except for speed and charisma. But Abyss, one time, told me I had to pay $20 for his autograph, is here in the undercard poking Dolph Ziggler in the eyes. And that's a true story. <laughs> and I, got it. I had to bring it up one more time here. Awkward collision, into the ropes again. Ziggler looking for a counter. Manhattan drop, had him stunned, but didn't follow it up. Knocks him down with their shoulder. Give up. Don't ask him to give up, he won't. Abyss doesn't know how to stop. There are no brakes on that unhinged train that is Abyss. He came from an insane asylum, and he's here in a wrestling ring going against the show-off Dolph Ziggler, poking him in the eyes. But Dolph just here because he has a monster ego getting beel tossed across the damn ring. In the corner. Keep him in there. Don't let him out. Don't let the monster lose. Oh, wheel kick missed by a mile. And Abyss just trying to slow things to a methodical pace here. There might be a method to this madness, but I, I'm not sure if Abyss really has a plan at all. I think he just kind of does things. He just acts on animal instinct, and now Ziggler... With the quickness, catches him with the neck breaker there, and the snap suplex, hook in the leg, quick one. cover by Ziggler, but only a one, as Abyss is a big man and hard to keep down. The monster Abyss here in season nine, the monster and uh, giant season, themed around mostly large wrestlers. I mean, Ziggler is uh, one of the few exceptions. Uh, but I just really, I really wanted him in the season. Shut up. One. And uh, not even a two. Close line. Might go for another. Is he going to pick him up and whip him into the corner? Yes, he is. And oh, just tackles him down. Imagine getting tackled by Abyss. Because that's what just happened to Dolph. And it wasn't pretty. Had to shake it off, but you can't. This ain't a Taylor Swift song. Oh. Chopped. Elbowed. Sleeper applied. Give up. Give up. Give up. And anybody can put anybody to sleep. That's a simple but effective maneuver there by Ziggler. Keeping him in the corner, but uh, fighting out of it was Abyss again. You can't stop him. You can't slow him down. He just 
keeps coming. And the Famouser. Not sure he got all of it. Super kick. Did he get all of that one? It doesn't matter. Famous are this time closer to the center, but Dolph uh, a bit slow on the follow-up. Jumping DDT, and now Dolph is starting to hit his stride here. Starting to get into gear. Get things going. Here we go. There he goes. Jumping up high, getting all of that one. Cover. One, two. And the masked monster abyss. Powering out with no problems. Trapping Ziggler. But getting knocked down. Wait a minute. He's got a lot of fight in him. And you got to fight every step of the way here in the undercard. Whether or not you are in the title picture, you've got to give everything you have. We don't want slouches. We don't want laziness. Jumping DDT. Only the best for my audience. Get them out of here. Throw them away like a piece of trash. Jumping leg drop. Choke slam. Abyss looks tired. The longer this match goes, the better for Dolph. Jumping Famouser. Definitely got all of that one. Can he get the window? Oh, 2.9. That was a big two and a half. And again! Another attempt at the impossible. No. Wasn't meant to be. Not yet. Not there. Dolph has to keep going. Hit him again. Get him down again, and he kicks out again. It's the same old story told a million times. It's the never-ending story. Whoa, hey, ladies. <laughs> the show-off is showing off. And that's just who Dolph is. He thinks he's better than everyone. And uh, I think there's an argument here from Abyss right now. So he was going to splash him in the corner. Yeah. Shock drop. Oh, that just sent a tremble through his one, spine. One, two. two. Signature move by Abyss. And an awkward cover. One, Wait a minute. Two. He might have exhausted himself. No. That would have been the worst type of finish. I hate that shit. Oh. We've had matches end that way, and I hate it. He's going to hit it again. Wait. He's going for a torture rack. Wait a minute. He turned it into a submission. Ziggler had to roll out. Catch him from behind. Super kick. Just as he turns the other way. Stolen jumping DDT. We, we had another stolen signature. That's two today on the show. We had one previously in the tag match as Willie Mack stole the uh, Oscar Street Cutter. And now Dolph has a sleeper applied and I, I think he passed out. Ziggler just made Abyss pass out. That's a huge upset. I was still reacting to the stolen signature and the match ended. Well, we've got a big matchup here now. It is Scarlet Witch from the Marvel Universe versus Living Dead Girl Abaddon, who's been on an absolute tear lately, climbing up the ranks very quickly, putting an emphasis behind everything she does. These two women will collide, and the winner will face the undefeated Awesome Kong next week inside of a steel cage with an opportunity to end the streak of Awesome Kong and become women's champion. That's a huge, huge opportunity, but also not something I would want to do. <laughs> I would not want to be in this position right now. 
Even if you win this match. Fight. Even if you win this match, you've got the most dominant female star in undercard history waiting for you. Awesome Kong is 7 and 0 oh in a 16 episode season. That's nuts. That's like she she is now entered Team Halloween and Andre the Giant territory. Like we've had 9 seasons and she's the first woman to do that. And now these two, Scarlet Witch with an elbow, have that chance to get against her. But they have to go through each other. And uh, Scarlet Witch has been in that position before. And Abaddon wants to be number one contender more than anything. We've seen a lot more emotion from her. And it, it's awkward to see that because, you know, she's so... Uh, statuesque and uh, always in her zombie gimmick so big kick to the midsection by Scarlet Witch chasing her down covered in red taking down the living dead girl Abaddon steps away from that one but gets chopped anyway kick to the midsection another several kicks getting into it Spinning chop didn't connect, but she grabbed her by the wrist there. Little wrist lock, waist lock. Now Abaddon grabbing a hold of her opponent. And it's gonna be a cat fight! Rolling around the ring, slamming her head into the canvas. Scarlet Witch, oh, got countered and tossed down there again. Abaddon strikes to the back of the head. Stuns her. Might be going for the spear. No, wait. Oh, she went for the sister Abigail. One. Big kick out. Only at one. But, I mean, it's still er really early in this match. So That could have ended quickly, and that would have sent Abaddon right yeah. into the cage. Sent on splash. Five minutes gone. Five minutes gone already. Yeah. Number one contender. Big matchup here. Unbelievable opportunity to do the impossible. One of these two could potentially, and there's a small chance of it, but it could happen, defeat Awesome Kong in the future. Uh, Abaddon got caught there. Russian leg sweep. And that's the problem is uh, the best female on the roster besides Awesome Kong Give has up. been Scarlet Witch all Give season up. long. She's been right here. The only person that's defeated her... Uh-oh, telekinesis! She's got the mind control! The only person that's defeated Scarlet Witch is Awesome Kong. So, <laughs> this is not good for Abaddon right now as she's getting stomped on. She's got to get up. She's got to keep fighting. She has to do what she was made to do, and Give that's up. choke out her competition. DDT plants her on top of her head. Now, big kick. And again, just trying to get away from this, but the voodoo rattle, it's connected. And there's a jumping chop. And a stomp, and another chop, and just ticking time bomb. Wait a minute, she grabs her. Shades of Victoria with the Widow's Peak. A signature move there by Abbott on a big move. That might have just changed the entire flow of this match. Face slam to finish. Abbott on with her finisher. She knows what she has to do. One, two. But does she know what's ahead of her? Two and a half. Does she know what's next? <laughs> Uh-oh. Force choke slam. If you haven't seen WandaVision, you might be confused. But Scarlet Witch's power is that she controls matter. 
And all that matters right now is she just got dropped in an uncomfortable way and kicked out again out of that Widow's Peak. Her Corona by Abaddon. She's surprisingly quick when she wants to be. And that's what makes Abaddon so dangerous. Is she's powerful too. Full Nelson slam. Taunts at her opponent. Scarlet Witch is shaken up. And she's going to hit her again. Back to back. Lock it up. Manhandle slam turns it into the Anaconda device. Submission applies. Wanda Maximoff struggling right now against Abaddon, who catches her with a DDT. Cover. One. Referee two. with the two. And no. Hammerlock. Drops her down, face first into the canvas, and not really sure where she wants to go here, just dragging one, her opponent around, two. and one, two. Abaddon had to kick out, missed the high kick, but catches the DDT anyway. 12 minutes, 35 seconds, spear! Didn't have a lot of steam behind it, but it connected. And will it be enough for Abaddon? To become number one contender, wait a minute. Irake, victory roll. She's going to steal this. She's going to become, no. Two. Scarlet Witch was a second away from another opportunity that she's already had. And that's why Abaddon feels this isn't fair. She says Scarlet Witch has already been in this position before and I've never gotten my chance. Well, this is your chance. You got to do it right here. No. Cut her. Scarlet Witch staring her down, spinning side slam by Abaddon and the creepy, spooky crawl across the ring. She is a monster, but sometimes that can be a good thing. Not all monsters are evil. They might be Giants as a great band, but this doesn't matter because all that matters right now is she got caught by the mind control, the telekinesis again, and has to elbow down her opponent, Abaddon, going up against somebody with superpowers. There was a rope break there. Picks her up by the hair. Oh no, she's going to be locked in it again. Is she on the ropes? Referee better check. Break. Yes. Break. Abaddon with her foot on the bottom rope. Got out of that submission and now taunting right over the body of Scarlet Witch. Plants her with another DDT. Get her away from those ropes. Uh-oh. She missed. No, no, no! Did I? This is the finisher. It's got to be over. One, two... Yes! Abaddon kicked out! Get her, girl! Her Karana. I don't want to be uh, the one to say it, but I think I might be biased in this matchup. Big spear connected. Victory roll! No, 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 not this way! Yes! <laughs> Please! I, can't, I want Abaddon to win. Because I think Scarlet Witch has had her chance. I agree. It should be Abaddon. She deserves it. But she's got to earn it. Oh, clothesline right off the ropes. Big rebound move. Abaddon hooking the leg. Referee going down for the count. And yes! Abaddon did it! Abaddon will get the opportunity to make history. And it's going to be a big match. Abaddon versus Awesome Kong in the steel cage next week. And now we know two of our title matches that are going to happen. But we've still got to find out who will face the big show in the main event next week. Will it be Bam Bam Bigelow? The beast from the east that's been dropping everybody on their head. Or will it be the monster 
among men. The man who says you can get these hands, Braun Strowman. Fight. It's time to pay attention. This is the main event between two absolute giants. Oh, we just bounced off of the chest. Oh my God. <laughs> and he got tossed aside. Braun Strowman is unstoppable. <laughs> Good God, what a start to the match. Good Lord. Suplex reversal by Strowman. And Bam Bam uh, just ran into a red light. Headbutt connects. This is this is uh, this is what season nine is all about right here. This is the type of competition that we want to see. Two guys that don't give a shit. They'll hurt themselves to get this win right now. I promise you. Into the corner. Bam Bam steps out with a big forearm to the face, rattles Strowman, but he just tossed him again. You know how strong you have to be to toss Bam Bam Bigelow across the wrestling ring? Do you have any idea? I feel like people don't understand. Bam Bam is like 330 pounds and Braun Strowman doesn't care because he's one of the world's strongest men and he's just tossing him again. But he got caught by a kick there. And it's those little moments sometimes that play into uh, what will actually happen in the result of the match. The little kicks, every strike, anything, you catch them the right way, you could knock them out right there. I mean, this is real. It's still real to me, damn it. Strike exchange in the main event. Braun Strowman with a big left hand. And now Give a up. series of elbows. Give up. Number one contender spot. On the line, winner faces Big Show next week in a steel cage. The return of Rage in the cage. Headbutt. Gets up, runs back into Strowman. The monster among men. Standing seven feet tall and hanging him upside down. Outside of the ring goes Bam Bam and he recovered quickly. That's a top level superstar right there. Bam Bam's had just as many main events as Braun Strowman, and now they're facing each other in the main event. And ladies and gentlemen, one more time, this is The Undercard. Season 9, Episode 13, Beneficiary. And one of these two will benefit oh, from the outcome. And there was a huge choke slam That shook him up. And look at this! Look at the strength of Strowman! Holy shit! Military press. And Bam Bam slams him back down. Strowman was stunned for a second, but Bam Bam couldn't even get his hands on him. Bigelow, not used to facing an opponent that just shrugs things off. Face first into the canvas. Fighting Strowman is like wrestling a tank. He's not human, he's... He's a monster. Oh, glitchy headbutt, but it worked. Fighting on the outside right in front of the crowd. This is what the undercard is all about deep down inside. You got to give everything you have. Suplex. Oh, the whole arena shook on that one. And there's a low blow. Nothing illegal about that. Just throwing Strowman away so he could grab a weapon. Smart wow. move. And uh, when it comes to weapons and getting extreme, I believe Bam Bam Bigelow would have the edge there as he wrestled in ECW for several years. And there's another steel chair. Shout out to the city of Pennsylvania. Wow. Or the state, the state of Pennsylvania, the city of uh, Philadelphia. You know what I meant. Shut up, botch. 
Elevated choke. That elevated choke Strowman uses as a signature submission just to slow things down. And it's hard to breathe with those giant arms wrapped around you. Choke slam! Sending a message to champion Big Show. Perhaps. Obviously the Big Show famous for the choke slam. And uh, Bigelow now has to deal with the running power slam. It's looking like it's going to be Strowman, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, not yet. Bam Bam Bigelow still has some fight left in him, and there's a choke slam of his own. He says, anything you could do, I could do as well, and probably better than you. How about that? And, uh, no. Face first, you go. From behind, headbutt. Stunned him. Choke slam coming. All the way down from seven feet in the air. And now the stolen finish! <laughs> Fire Thunder Driver! How many stolen signatures and finishes have we had this episode? What the hell is going on in Fire Pro Wrestling World right now? And it didn't matter, because Bam Bam got back up 12 minutes into the main event. That Fire Thunder Driver drops people directly on their cranium. And there ain't no excuse out of the Bam Bam Salt except for the fact that Strowman is seven feet tall and was able to touch the ropes from where he was. And the elevated choke might get the submission. Fading away. The beast from the East is out. Braun faces Big Show in another rematch. Well, god damn, that settles it. We're going to have to look at the rankings and find out uh, who might potentially be in the finale because I, I think it's down to one of two guys. Uh, but we'll do a quick recap and then we'll talk about next week. How about that? Mojo and Lance Archer collided, but Lance hit three finishers and won the match. Then Heidenreich got a big victory and uh, seemed pretty easy for him over Geralt. Number one contenders, Willie Mack and Rich Swan will face Bane and Grundy next week. Ivory defeated Harley Quinn. Dolph. Put Abyss to sleep. Abaddon, with a huge victory, is now the number one contender and will face Awesome Kong, who is undefeated. And then in our main event, Bam Bam and Braun Strowman hit each other with everything they had, but Strowman just seemed like he was in game. He was like on his game. He was ready to go and he knew what needed to be done and he did it and uh sometimes you have to just go in with the mentality that you've already won and then maybe you can win that way i don't know but i can tell you that it will be braun Strowman versus big show at rage in the cage four next week all the matches are inside of a steel cage it's an annual event it's a seasonal event that we do here at episode 14. And we're going to have some crazy matchups. So thank you all for watching. And I really hope to see you next week for that. Because it's, it's going to be another banger premium live event. That's going to break even more viewership records on YouTube. Have a good day.